While Tony Hawk still holds the benchmark for extreme sports games, there have been plenty of contenders for his crown, all featuring different twists on the same basic stunt-filled idea. Now entering the fray comes Kelly Slater's Pro Surfer, changing the playing field substantially and demanding that we get wet and wild. And who are we to refuse an offer like that? The main concern is probably the loss of the versatility and vibrancy from the urban settings, but since Treyarch has spent over a year getting the water to behave just right, you can rest assured that it is being suitably compensated for. With organic and random waves creating perfect recreations of those spectacular swells that Californians just take for granted. Every wave is unique, dramatically varying in height, speed, tubes and brakes. Even the waves in a single location vary from one run to the next, so there's no easy way out here. You can't just learn the course by rote, this time you're really going to need some skill. The tricking itself remains true to the Tony Hawk system, although getting your specials meter up to full as quickly as possible is essential for success. Once you've got it maxed out, you can start to rack up some immense scores, and as long as you continue to land each trick perfectly, your combo will continue to multiply. Now what an awful thing for you to say oh, What a terrible thing for you to relate And the Icon Challenge adds a further element, requiring you to perform the stunts indicated by the icons before the stack gets too tall. The ambience of this uniquely chilled sport has been impressively captured here, setting it in a different league from the competition. And while it may not be quite as technically brilliant as Tony Hawk 3, it is different enough to stand on its own. Thank you.